Is the EU going all in on GMO? Social media users went nuts when the European Commission proposed on the 5th of July to loosen its quite strict legislation on GMO, or genetically modified organisms. But is the EU really going all in on GMO, as this health influencer claims? The Commission wants to create exceptions for a new category of GMO plants, grown with so-called new genomic techniques, or NGTs. They can be used to breed, for example, bananas that don't turn brown, or disease-resistant potatoes. Basically, NGTs modify the crop's DNA without adding genes from other organisms, unlike traditional genetic engineering. NGTs didn't exist when the EU adopted its GMO legislation in 2001. Under the new rules, exceptions would be allowed for NGT plants deemed equivalent to conventional plants. This means that the genetic mutations might as well occur in a slower process in nature without the help of engineers. These NGT plants would be exempt from risk assessments and wouldn't have to be labeled with GMO. NGT plants have not yet entered the European market. EU countries that cultivate GMOs still use first-generation techniques, which will continue being subject to the very strict legislation. Only one genetically modified crop is allowed, an insect-resistant type of maize. It's grown to 90% in Spain and a little bit in Czechia, Slovakia, Portugal and Romania. The aim of the proposal is to make the food system more resilient and sustainable. The European Commission considers the new techniques pest resistant and highlights that they require less fertilizers and pesticides and that they can ensure higher yields. It's important to stress that this is just a proposal. It will probably take years before and if the Parliament and the 27 governments can agree. The proposal is facing strong resistance from the left and from the NGOs Greenpeace and BeLife. They emphasize the risk for a decline of pollinators and criticize the fact that the text doesn't mention unintended adverse effects. But the proposal also benefits from lots of lobbying from the agriculture industry and support from the conservative and liberal party groups in the parliament. To put it simply, it's not fair to say that the EU is going all in on GMO. The strict regulation from 2001 would still apply to all plants that use a traditional technique and even some of the NGT plants. However, the new proposal is definitely a step towards a more liberal GMO market in the EU.